What's up, everybody? We are here to do the movies we watched last month, and we're both very sick. Yeah. Um, but we're fighting through it so that we can uh, do this because we want to. Yes. All right, then. So I'll start it off. My fifth ranked movie from last month is The 40 Year Old Virgin. I think it's really funny. There's some uh, <laughs> iconic scenes like the hair getting ripped out, but I think uh, Seth Rogen is great in it as well. Great sporting cast. Yes. Um, anytime I see a, a Wu Tang shirt being represented, then it's always going to get a higher ranking in my book. Yeah. My fifth favorite was The Lobster. That was a very unique and weird movie, but it's very entertaining, I think, and it's just it's well made. It has great acting. It's funny too. It's just it's it's eye catching. Well, it's funny you should mention that because my fourth favorite is The Lobster. And like you said, it's eye-catching, not in that it has spectacular visuals, but you can't take your eyes off it because you don't know what's going to happen next. Like, it's, you're just waiting to see what happens. It's such a unique premise, but you think that the whole thing takes place yeah. in the retreat area, but there's so much more to it. My fourth favorite is American movie. Mm. It's a very funny movie, but it's a very sad movie, too. Yeah. Just the realism of it, but... It, it perfectly it like encapsulates the the like life. You know, it's funny at times, but sad at times. So my fourth favorite American movie, and my third favorite is Rosemary's Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think it still holds up. The neighbors, especially that I can't think of her name, but the like the, grandma, the granny, yeah. yeah, great music, great setting, and it just draws you in. It's a slow burn. My third favorite was The Prestige. Which I watched that in film studies. You didn't. See I didn't it. see that. I have seen it before. Love it. It's a Nolan, yeah. Yeah. Uh, fantastic twists in the movie, like most Nolan movies. It was extremely entertaining. Very good acting. Third favorite prestige. My second favorite, American movie, because it's one of my all-time favorite movies. I've seen it so much. I've quoted it before. You know, you'd ever watched it. There were so many things that I've quoted, and now you know where the quotes come from. But it, there's so much humanity in it. Like you said, it's funny, heartbreaking, tragic, sweet. I mean, Mike Shank, who recent, like, I guess it was last year he died, is so awesome in it. Obviously, the uncle. <laughs> um, they're just, they they get me, man. Like, they right in the heart. I could just, <laughs> I love them to death. I'm so glad that they were captured on video for everyone else to witness their awesomeness. I love the movie so much. My second favorite, The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Amazing acting from all the cast. Amazing cast, you know, Paul Rudd, you know, you were saying too, um, Seth Green, or Seth Rogen, I mean, it's very funny. My second favorite. <clears throat> all right, well, before we get to our favorites, let's go through the other ones that we watched. So Snowpiercer, we watched it together. It almost made my top five, I think it, Great movie. Yeah. And Saw X, we watched together. It was gruesome. Good acting from Tobin Bell. Well yeah. made. Actually, it's good for the 10th movie in the horror installment, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty crazy for the 10th one to, in my opinion, take out the first one, but other than the first one, be one of the best, yeah. you know? So, yep. Um, and then we also watched two Transformers movies, <laughs> Age of Extinction and The Last Night. Age of Extinction was enjoyable. It was too long, though. Yeah. The last night. Not good. It's it's it's, it's so it's, weird. Yeah, it's so weird. It's unwatchable almost. <clears throat> it's it's borderline keeps wanting to be so bad as good, but then it's just so bad as bad. Like the room. Yeah, like I'm saying, it, it almost is one of those so bad as good. It just the tone of the movie. It's just all over the place. It's, I feel like I was watching like a, a Star Wars movie that was like made for Nickelodeon with like sketch comedy acting. It's just so weird, so yeah, it's a, bizarre. It's unwatchable and bizarre, yeah. Yeah, but we watched it, and I hope to never see it <laughs> yeah, again. I agree. I also watched The Hitchhiker. I don't remember much from it, but um, I do remember they had excellent acting. But other than that, I don't remember much. All right. So, have you figured out what my... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my... Favorite movie that we watched last month, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. One of my all-time favorite comedies. Talk about having heart. John Candy in it just destroys me. But it's so funny. It's so good. So many quotes. We watch it every Thanksgiving. And I just absolutely love it. My number one favorite, Inception. 
which I watched that in film studies. It's, I've seen it, but we did. I didn't watch it, so that's why it's not on my list. It's a, it's an amazing movie. Amazing acting, amazing cast, amazing cinematography. The plot the, the plot twists were amazing. It was, it's just an amazing movie. Like, is it one of your all time favorites? Yeah, I think so. So Inception versus Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. <laughs> I think mine's better. <laughs> All right, let us know what you think about, uh, if you've seen any of the movies that we watched and what your opinions are of them, and also what were some of the movies that you watched last month. And uh, sorry we're sick and getting this out late, but you know we're doing it anyways, and very soon we'll be recording the movies for December. Yep. Yep. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.